This is Breezy. Catch a new episode of All American this Monday at 8, 7 central. Now at 10, she was left beaten and bloodied while on a walk in the Venice Canals. Tonight, the single mother speaks out about the chilling assault that nearly claimed her life. And it was a heartbreaking DUI crash that changed a family's life forever. An expected mother killed, a baby saved in an emergency C-section, and now years later, the woman behind the wheel learns her fate and a family comes forward alleging their seventh grader was attacked in the classroom by his teacher the bombshell accusations of an assault and a cover-up in a story you'll see only on five and we're having a little weather whiplash after days of sunshine another round of rain returning to southern california your wet weekend forecast now on the news at 10. Good evening, I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Rick Chambers. Mike has got this night off. A man accused of savagely beating and sexually assaulting two women in separate attacks near the canals of Venice has been arrested. One of the women nearly beaten to death is speaking out about the brutality of the attack. She spoke with KTLA's Chris Wolf from her hospital bed. He joins us live from Westwood with her story. Chris. Cher and Rick, what an incredible story. The victim I spoke with tonight is 54-year-old Mary Klein. She's a home health care nurse, a single mom, soon to be grandmother, and she is very strong and very courageous. She tells us that her face was, quote, bashed in, and right now her jaw is wired shut, but still she is able to share her story. And then all of a sudden, I was in the canals, and all of a sudden, I just get knocked out. I just get knocked out. Was it from behind? I have no idea. My teeth got knocked out. I had two teeth knocked out. Like, and, and my jaw is wired. Yeah, and I have yeah. fractures here. He, he, he hit my face. Like, he punched you? Yeah. He bashed her face. He bashed and, my face in. Yeah. Mary Klein, the soon-to-be 55-year-old victim of the Venice Canal attacker, speaks with KTLA from her hospital bed, battered, bruised, but in many ways not broken. A stranger jumped her from behind while she was taking a walk near her home around 10.30 p.m. Saturday night, April 6th. She's not sure about the first blow, but says it sent her immediately into a daze. She does remember falling to the ground and being bludgeoned punched in the face and head repeatedly, as well as other elements about the attack. I think he was trying to kill me. I think he tried to kill me. Oh, but I'm very tall, I'm six feet tall. So I think maybe you know, I had hard for him to keep me down. I don't know. Yeah, you're a strong woman. I know the other girl, she was in a coma. Yes. So I don't know how she's doing. Did he, do you remember him saying anything to you or just the no, poundings, the beating? I don't even remember feeling the hitting. I just know that I was on the ground. That's, that's like being hit by a truck. A second female victim was severely beaten that same evening and at last word was in a coma. Officers flooded the area in the following days and on Friday announced the arrest of 29-year-old Anthony Jones. Detectives say he is shown in surveillance footage recorded near the canals of Venice. They made an arrest. Good. How do you feel? I, I was crying because I, I was so worried about that girl, the other girl. And I hope she makes it. And uh, we're lucky that I survived. And I... I feel so sad for her and I hope she's okay. Enough with the ridiculous soft on crime, defund the police, catch and reliefs, harm reduction. Criminals are the victims' policies that got us into this mess. I want predators and violent attackers to be held accountable, have longer sentences, and um, just not be out on the streets with our family members. Mary Klein wants to thank the LAPD for its very hard work in this case. Anthony Jones was...